We're asked to perform the indicated operation and simplify. Notice how we have the product of two binomials. These are often referred to as special products because the binomials are conjugates. Notice for the first product, we have the quantity 9m plus 4 times the quantity 9m minus 4. Some textbooks do give a special formula when multiplying binomial conjugates shown here. But we're going to go ahead and multiply like we normally do and then simplify. And while some textbooks do refer to the acronym of FOIL to help us determine the products when multiplying two binomials, we're going to use repeated distribution. To multiply these two binomials, we distribute each term in the first binomial into the second binomial. So we first distribute 9m into the second binomial. So we have one, two products. And then we distribute the four into the second binomial, giving us two more products. When multiplying two binomials, we always have four products. For this first example, let's write out each product. So we first have 9m times 9m plus 9m times negative 4 plus, now we distribute the 4, 4 times 9m and then finally plus 4 times negative 4. Multiplying using the acronym FOIL, we do get the same products. Now let's find each product. 9m times 9m is 81m squared. And we have plus 9m times negative 4, that'd be plus negative 36m. Let's write plus negative 36m as just minus 36m. And we have plus 9 times 4m, that's plus 36m. And finally we have plus 4 times negative 4, that'd be plus negative 16 or just minus 16. Notice how we do have two like terms here, negative 36m plus 36m is zero. So when multiplying conjugates, these two middle terms should always be opposites and have a sum of zero. And therefore the product is 81m squared minus 16. Before we look at our second example, let's look at this formula shown here below. Where the quantity a minus b and the quantity a plus b are conjugates, and the product is equal to a squared minus b squared. So if we did try to apply this formula, notice how a is equal to 9m and b is equal to 4. So notice how the product would have to be equal to a squared minus b squared, which would be the square of 9m minus the square of 4. And notice how we do get 81m squared minus 16 using the formula as well. Looking at our second example, again to find this product, we'll multiply like we normally do, so we'll distribute the terms in the first binomial into the second binomial. So we have one, two, three, four products. So we have negative 5a times negative 5a, that's positive 25a squared, then we have plus negative 5a times 3, that's negative 15a. Instead of plus negative 15a, let's just write minus 15a. And now we distribute the negative 3, so we have plus negative 3 times negative 5a, that's positive 15a, so plus 15a. And then finally plus negative 3 times positive 3, which is negative 9. Instead of plus negative 9, let's write minus 9. And again, combining like terms, here we have negative 15a plus 15a, which is zero. And therefore, this simplifies to 25a squared minus nine. I hope you found this helpful.